Hello everyone, this is Fly Fisher. I'm joined here with Professor X. He's a little rained on and doesn't look too happy. But I'm pretty happy here with my uh, crystal cell batteries. Oh, there he is. Um, so basically uh, in the last uh, video that I, I did, I uh, created a crystal cell battery that was about four and a half inches tall uh, and one and a half inches wide. Uh, the results of that um, uh, battery, I was producing uh, 1.37 volts and a half milliamp. And um, I wasn't too impressed with the results. Um, and plus I was wasting a lot of material. So I decided that I was going to uh, chop that uh, crystal cell battery into three pieces. So here's the battery itself. There's three of them. And um, the premise for creating them was exactly the same. This time instead of using uh, um, uh, cement, uh, uh, I used epoxy to do the uh, sealing of the uh, top and bottom of the crystal cell. And um, basically, what I did was I put it in series. And uh, as part of the analysis, I, I actually you know ran tests on all three of them separately and then all three of them together. I uh, just wanted to bring over my notebook here so you could see what the actual results were. So as you can see here, uh, cell one, I was able to produce 1.46 volts with an uh, average amp uh, amperage of 18.3. The second one I uh, produced one and a half volts and 25.5 milliamps. The third one 1.48 volts and 30.5 milliamps. Uh, so again, you know, totaling those numbers up, I should be producing 4.45 4 volts and 74.3 milliamps. However, in reality, as you can see here, when I connect it in series, I am getting the voltage, but um, I'm definitely not getting the amperage. I'm actually lost amperage, uh, chopping this up into three and running it in series. And if anyone has any, uh, any uh, answers to this or can help me um, figure out how to increase the amps on my little setup here, I'd greatly appreciate it. So going back here, um, you know, we have the, uh, the three uh, cells in the series and currently I am at, you know, on a steady right there, I'm holding at 4.48 volts. Now I'm going to switch it over to the milliamps so you can see the milliamps. It's not easy with one hand. One second here. All right, so as you can see, as it with being in series, I am uh, down to 17 and a half milliamps. Not too proud uh, with those results. Um, so, you know, I'm looking, you know, I'm looking for ideas as to what to do next. And um, again, I'm, I'm actually going to look into doing a uh, the penny cell crystal cell batteries uh, have a idea how to do it and uh, try to try to get the same amount of uh, volts out of it without the vinegar. Now I'm just gonna you know again the, the amperage will kind of bounce back up to uh, around 22 but uh, as you see I mean I lost my amps uh, breaking it down in the series although I did get the voltage that I was that I hypothesized. So now I'm going to just show you, you know, it does work. Um, I tried running a motor on it, a small DC motor. It's not working. Uh, again, though, but it, the, the light, the LED light, uh, what I have here, you know, I bought this at the deli. It was, you know, three bucks. You know, it's got a bunch of LED lights, and it's got one on the end here. It's, uh, you know, it, where's the, uh, it's four and a half volts um, required, so it's three 
three batteries, one and a half uh, you know, volts per battery. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to hook, hook this up so you can see that it works. And it does provide a nice little nightlight or if you were to go camping, uh, totally don't have to worry about using batteries or you know wasting batteries. So uh, just give me a second here. Let me uh, hook this up for you. So again, all you really have to do is you know the negative on the last piece there, and then I just bring it around. Okay. All right, so you can see I'm on the I'm on the back plate there, positive and negative. Now I'm just gonna gently flip this over. Hopefully it doesn't pop off, and hopefully you don't get the glare from the thing. All right, so that's the bottom light. There we go. Hi everyone, this is Fly Fisher with Professor X. This is uh, the crystal cell actually cleaned up. Uh, some electrical tape, putting in the series, and uh, you know fixing the uh, LED light with a wire so then I could easily kind of assemble it to the battery. And there you have it. So it's a nice little night light and also can be taken out for uh, if you ever go camping. So uh, this is Fly Fisher and Professor X saying if you like it, uh, like us and uh, please subscribe. Thank you.